As investigators pour over the crime scene at the Grand 16 movie theater in Lafayette, Louisiana, details emerge about the man authorities say killed two people before killing himself. The family of John Hauser says he was mentally ill and so violent that they hid his guns. Court documents also show they sought police help to keep him away. Hauser had been estranged from his family. He's kind of a drifter. He's been in Lafayette since early July, as far as we can tell. He was staying at a local motel on University Avenue. Witnesses say Hauser stood up about 20 minutes into the screening of the movie Trainwreck and opened fire. Police say he shot two people in front of him before aiming at others, firing at least 13 times. The alarm went off and people were just going crazy. I saw a lady with a bloody hand and the woman told me to go back and she said, help me, help me, somebody come help me. Authorities say Hauser tried to escape but turned back to the fleeing crowd when he spotted officers. He took his own life inside the theater. Hauser's car was parked near the exit door and investigators found disguises and wigs in his motel room. It is apparent that he was uh, intent on shooting and then escaping. The two fatalities identified as 21-year-old Macy Bro and 33-year-old Jillian Johnson. She was just a giving person. She, she, if she seen you needed help, regardless of who you were or what color you were, she would have helped you. Thursday's attack in Louisiana was the latest mass shooting in the U.S. and the second in three years at a movie theater. James Holmes was convicted last week of killing 12 people at a Colorado theater and is awaiting his sentencing. The people in Lafayette, the grieving process and search for answers is just the beginning. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.